Greetings everybody, so this is my entry into the flashing light uh, contest uh, 2017 and uh, this is little ducky and uh, this is douchey ducky here's little ducky turn the tap on how about that? oh man have I got to keep this like this for five minutes? See, there's a there's a turbine here. Ooh, blimey. So, what's inside, little ducky? Well, uh, let's have a little look. See, so inside, what we have is a little board, and uh, you'll see here that there's some grey wires going off um, up into the yonder, which is where the eyes are now. So look at that, that first. Those are these little uh, six volt incandescent bulbs. So I'm not sure if we can see that if we get quite close. But that is what the bulbs are. Hopefully that is reasonably getting into focus. So those are the incandescent bulbs. 6 volt jobs and put it in series so that's 12 volts and um, there's a few things in here which uh, I'm going to see if we can draw to your attention and hopefully it will come on you can do it there we go so the power goes in here just here that's a, a programming header and you look a little bit closer on here. I'm hoping this is focusing. I need a pointy thing. There, we go. there is a pick here uh, in a sot. Uh, here's a can. There's a, a pick here in a sot 23. It's a, it's a pick 10F uh, 322. And just here is an MPN sort of medium power transistor. So uh, the um, bulbs they take about 60 milliamps, and probably when they first switch on, they're a little bit lower current than that. So uh, this is um, a reasonable, got a reasonable sort of power on it. Uh, there's a between the output of the um, pick and this transistor. Actually, I found that the gain wasn't that high, so I had to use a. I did originally have a 10k going into the base, but I've dropped down to a 1k. Um, the, then uh, this is powered by this buck converter. So the biggest thing in the whole thing is a buck converter. I don't actually know why I decided to use a buck converter, to be honest with you, because the, the bulbs are actually running off the open collector output of this transistor up to 12 volts. So in series, so it's two 6 volts in series to make the 12 volts up. So I could have easily used a linear regulator because the current consumption on this pick is going to be uh, you know about a milliamp if that so anyway that's the way I did it I guess you know let's do it the hard way shall we so this is a, a buck converter uh, device here and uh, if it looks a little bit messy that's because pretty much every single device had to be changed when I shorted something out um, earlier on so you've got the inductor here this is the shocky diode for the uh, buck converter and this is the actual chip uh, there so there you go this diode here is just to stop me putting the power, putting the power on the wrong way around. So that's um, that's how it works. Let's have a look at the um, schematic. So this is the power supply. This is the device that I used for the um, for the buck converter. Uh, I chose these for another project actually. Uh, they they got quite a good uh, wide re input range. I think they go to forty volts input. And um, not much to say about this. This is pretty much out, out of the uh, uh, the data sheet. This uh, this design, and uh, there's only a little odd thing here. If you you need to look very closely on the data sheet because there's a this is stable only with a minimum of uh, a mil uh, with a milliamp going through. So I've just put a 3.3k resistor across here for no reason other than to make it stable. Possibly unnecessary because um, once the picks on. It wouldn't be too hard to make it take a milliamp if we didn't have to. So this is the the pick here. Again, SOT23, tiny little thing. 
Uh, this is that little header. And um, just to pull up on the uh, main clear, which is a sort of standard thing on picks, really. Uh, that's so that you can use the, the header and have it just come up uh, with it auto clearing. And uh, then this is our transistor that I mentioned earlier on, uh, which scrubbed out 10k, it's now 1k. And uh, these are the two lamps in series. And uh, that's it, that's the design. And uh, the code is about uh, probably 20 lines of C, that's it, if that. And uh, okay, thanks very much for uh, watching, and that's my entry into the into the uh, flashing light competition 2017. Thank you. Oh, and uh, cheers. So welcome to Duck Corner, and uh, here's little Ducky, and uh, this is my entry into the flashing light uh, contest 2017. You might think, what on earth's going on here? Well, we're going to see if I get in his underbelly, grab his undercarriage. See, I've got a little bit of electronics in here, and uh, tell you about that in a moment. But I've got to plug him in, plug him into his clacker. There's a little ducky, and then I've got to turn the tap on. You can see. Here's a little ducky, turn the tap on. How about that? Oh, man. Have I got to keep this like this for five minutes? You can see there's a, there's a turbine here. Oh, blimey. And that's what's powering the, the device. And I've got two incandescent LED... Um, not LEDs, they are definitely incandescent. I can assure you of that. If I turn the, the water down a little bit, okay. his eyes aren't quite as uh, bright as they might otherwise have been. Get it back up again. Don't want to lose the competition by not having him flash for five minutes. You can also hear the pump. Changing its uh, like changing in in time to the lights going on and off. So when the lights go on, it's actually taking at 12 volts. It's taking about 60 milliamps, something like that, and next to nothing when the lights are off. Um, so inside is a little microcontroller and a switch mode regulator, which uh, I did. So it's just uh, I'm not sure whether I should just leave it and. just to prove that it, this actually works or whether I should just, just show you what's inside it a little bit more. So yeah, inside it's this little undercarriage. This is the electronics in here. The two lights are wired in series because they're six volt uh, miniature lights. And uh, on here there's a switch mode reg. They don't really need a switch mode regulator. A little pick which is just turning a pin on and off at um, one hertz. Actually, I think this is at 2 hertz, isn't it? It looks like about 2 hertz. And you'll also see that there's a transistor next to this coil. And that's the programming header there. So, before it gets a little bit too wet and damp and whatnot. Ducky douche. Bless him. I was looking at maybe putting, uh, maybe doing Morse code on his, on his, um, through his eyes, but I thought, nah. Don't need to do that. Somebody's already done Morse code. Look. So I left it with a boring flashing uh, light at uh, 2 hertz. And, uh, lots of water gushing everywhere. Have I really got to leave this going for five minutes? Oh well. How can, I, how can I set it up so that it's a sandier in the kitchen sink? Got a few bag. Sorry, I've got some uh, water on 
my legs anyway. <laughs> he knew this wasn't going to end well. Ducky douchebag. I'm not sure if I'm going to lose points because there's actually two lights in here, but it wouldn't have looked quite right if I'd only put one light in there. Shame my water's actually metered, so I don't know how much this is actually going to cost me, or how many gallons of water this has taken so far. I didn't do this with a 240 volt um, tur water turbine. It's only a 12 volt one here. I think I'll probably have been electrocuted by now. I think we're getting close to five minutes now. Let's see. Oh, well, it's maybe another couple of minutes. And hopefully that'll be enough for you. The battery's about to run down and run out on the camera too. Ah, pretty typical, isn't it? Oh, something about things in the back. Isn't it? We're going to find out if we last. This is actually a brand new lens I've put on this camera as well. And it's splashed all over, <laughs> so that's a good start. I didn't even get around to putting on a, 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 a front um, filter to protect the lens either, so there you go. That's how new it is. Must be close to finishing now. Uh, maybe one more minute. I'd like to say this is hypnotic, but I think I'd be lying. 